Hey Clashes, I cannot believe it, Super Witches are getting buffed everywhere right now and especially now with the new equipment because the fireball is turning your warden into an incredible and really fast paced monster when it comes down to a warden walk. The only problem is with this equipment combination you cannot bring the eternal tome ability. But which troop does not need the eternal tome ability because it can generate its own protection? That's right, it's the super witches. And with the latest buffs to the super witches, this combination might be insane. So let's give it a try and let's see how strong it actually is. If you're wondering, by the way, why exactly do I have a super dragon inside the clan castle? The reason is just the event right now. If the event would not happen, you can just use like two yetis, a Valkyrie, a loon and a barbarian. But let's take a look at this. Where are we? Like, what are we going for? Um, I think right now something which looks great is the Inferno Tower. Something else which you can do go for a lot of times um, is the the possible on this one is the Clan Castle because the Fireball is going to take that out as well. But it's not possible on this base. So let's do the classic approach, just like that. We have the healers behind. Now then, one would like to have the fireball onto that inferno tower to then use the earthquake and stuff and hopefully have a big explosion so that's how it's going to work i'm kind of scared right now of the mortar to me uh, i'm not really sure i hope that the warden is going to skip that otherwise that might be problematic where's the warden okay the warden i think yeah he should target that right he is fireball let's go i mean just the fact with that it's just so much fun I mean, it has to be one of the most fun equipments to use. This, it feels like this is how the um, giant arrow of the of the Ash Queen should feel like, I feel. But it is not because, well, it's just, it's weaker, it's it's less reliable, it's less satisfying. Like, in general, it's just, it's just a worse version, like, way worse version. But, I mean, obviously, because it's a, it's a common, not an epic. But, first right now, let's use one wizard to funnel our troops in. Then we can jump up here and then we can use our heal spell the main reason why i'm bringing the heal to this attack is pretty simple in ring bases like this you have the core which is typically really heavily stacked and the problem here is that well we don't have the warden the eternal tournament ability anymore so what i try to do is i try to keep my troops alive and i think that's done the best way with the heal because uh well we have rages we have to rage all of the warn anyways and now in the core we can use the heal i think that's the best way of like utilizing that spell capacity over another rage or over more freezes i think that's just better but let's add the royal champion take a look at that troops are staying alive beautifully gonna rage that up so the healers are raged up as well the royal champion is doing her thing and this base is just crushed take a look at this <laughs> i like I think right now, completely honest, the fireball has to be my favorite equipment to, uh, in the game. Like, not because it's like the strongest, I think it's really strong by the way, but still, it's not because like of the strength, it's just more about the fun, which, it's just satisfying to see an ins insane fireball wreck the entire village. And this is like something is happening, right? Like, with the haste vial of the royal gem, for example, it is by far the strongest equipment for the Royal Champ, but it's just so unsatisfying. Like, your Royal Champ is turning into a racing car, but otherwise, what is better? Like, a faster Royal Champion or insane Fireball? Or, like, more like what looks cooler? And I think the Fireball right now is just such a nice equipment um, for, like, fun factor and everything. And that's why I, like, love to use it. And, well, let's jump to the next attack. Well, this time we have one of those annoying box bases, which can be kind of annoying overall. But this time, oh boy, we have the explosion on our side. Can we, like, which is the best angle to take down as much as possible? Or should we go for the other side? Wait, wait, wait. I think I have a great idea. Wait, I, is that possible? I think I will try. I want to get the fireball onto the monolith. And with that, we should take down the clan castle as well. Remember, that is the cool thing. You can take down the clan castle as a building as well. So, it is in. That was a black man, that's good. And now we need to get ready. As soon as the wizard towers are gone, and I'm pretty safe that my warden, the fireball, is going to target the monolith, that's then the go time for us to actually use the earthquake and use the fireball as well. Okay, there's the, there's that, okay. The wizard tower has to go down. And because, oh my god, take a look at that. Because of the raged heaters, my warden is taking literally no damage. That's just so cool. Okay, okay. Like that. Now, now. Oh, oh my! What? I have got way more than expected. That range. What? 
Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm pretty happy with that value. You're not gonna lie. Oh my lord. That was just brutal. Okay. 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 We got this. I think we got this. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Okay. So. In here. the but I will use the siege barracks at the top set. And then I will just jump into the into the tunnel compartment just like that. I hope that is a great placement. At the top side, the Pekka go into funnel. I will freeze this once to make sure that my warden is not getting targeted anymore. And I think I will heal on this time as well to make sure that the troops are staying alive. So far, I think we're looking good. We still have another rage and stuff, right? Like to, I think that's what we're going to use now. Rage everything up. The king is dealing a ton of damage. Amazing. We have not even used the royal gem, by the way. <laughs> I mean... What is that? And that's like the cool thing. You can be kind of creative with this um, with this equipment as well, which is just so, so nice. It's, it's I don't know. It's, as I said, I cannot highlight this enough. Like, it is right now by far my favorite equipment to use. It's just satisfying to use. It's strong to use. It just has everything, um, in my opinion. But obviously, the big downside is it's an epic equipment, which means it takes forever as free to play to unlock, which is, uh, well, the big, big problem. But at the same time, I can highly recommend you or actually grinding for it. Um, I would still say, oh, let's just freeze that. I would still, I guess, um, recommend for people to use the ores right now from the event first to actually get more ores and then later on unlock it with gems because most future play players have no chance of actually maxing it right now, right? Like that, that is kind of unrealistic. So that's why I would actually Go for the ores at the moment and then like upgrade it as it's then later in the shop again for for the gems i think that's the better way of approaching it except if you have like a lot of resources stored and you're enjoying the attacks right now and you would like to play it as well with super witches i mean yeah it's like it's hard it's it's it's, it's the equipment problem right now in the game i guess but either way let's jump into the next attack and see what we can do yet again with the fireball and we're going in again, okay, so what are we going for this time? Um, we have most of the defenses stacked around this area. Can we somehow target... I mean, if we target the expo, that would be the greatest, but we would never even be able to get close to that. So what are we going for instead? Maybe just for the mortar? I think that might be better, right? I think that might be better. And then Farside Entry. I think that is the best way to approach this. Let's give it a try. So he does ward and everything. And that's now then the moment where we, we have to figure out when to use the warden ability. Because I would like to get the fireball onto this mortar. Because it would take down most likely the queen. It would take down the defenses around. And would create a nice pathing for us from the Farside Entry. We would go through the lock launcher. That's my guess at the moment. But hey, let's give it a try. I can use a wizard down here to already... Give my warden a better direct pathing into the scatter. Okay. And we have to use the earthquake just like that in the moment. I think that's now the... Yep, that's the time. That's the time. Yes! Okay, warden, come back. Warden, come back. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. That's good. Now the king. Wall break. Super witches in here. And we can freeze that once, I think. Yeah, we'll just freeze it once. One wizard here and then the lock launcher all the way through. That should be hopefully working. I mean, let's go for it. Wall break. Okay, that wall break was not the greatest, not gonna lie. This next wall break might be hopefully better. King is taking a lot of damage, but that's fine. Like, the king can run around. Um, if he's funneling the super witches, that's all what I care for. And so far, that looks good for me. A lot of troops already have taken damage. That's why I'm going to heal right now. I want to keep, obviously, the troops alive and give them a nice option of... Having a little bit more hit points. Now the rage for the healers. Super Dragon is popping out as well. Obviously, like, Super Dragon is a questionable choice. Even though, I feel like so far the Super... Let me know. I feel like so far the Super Dragon did a pretty good job. Don't you think so? I think so far he did a pretty good job with, like, supporting our pushes. Like, right now as well. Like, he's tanking for Black Mines and stuff. I, I think right now he's doing a pretty good job. Let's freeze that. Get the poison... I think so far we don't need it really. Jumping in there. We have to turn something invisible. Not yet. We're losing one super witch right here. The tunnel should go down. That's alright. We have one super witch on the outside cleaning things up. We have the Royal Champ ability th though. No, that's another thing. Like literally, I 
first off, I thought, okay, this strategy is strong. But it's like literally one of the best strategies on the game, isn't it? I mean, every single base has been crushed so far. It is insane. And as I said, the, the big thing compared to other strategies, like Super Bonus, for example, which is using a Warden Walk as well. You cannot use the Fireball equipment with the Super Bonus because that would just go, like in this area of the base, that would have went down within seconds, right? Because there's way too much damage. But because Super Witches are generating their own shields, and with the latest buff to Super Witches, it's the perfect fit. I mean, even Root Riders, I mean, they could probably work because Root Riders are still a little bit strong, overpowered, you could say. Um, so that's why they could work. But otherwise, Super Witches are just the perfect fit for this combination. And it's just mind-blowing. I mean, give it a try as well. If you somehow have the resources of Ores, I can just recommend it to you. I know, again, that's a big problem right now of getting those resources and actually upgrade equipment. I know as well, it's like really frustrating that you cannot even test those equipments. I mean, it would be great of like, you see this video, you could actually test the fireball um, on a decent level and then decide after it if you want to upgrade it or not. Because I know some strategies look kind of easy in the videos, but maybe they're not really that easy. So either way, I just highly recommend you this, this strategy. To me right now, it's one of these. It might be even an S tier strategy. I'm not even joking. It's just so, so insanely strong how much power you have. And to me, it's just mind-blowing. I mean, I'm just... Super Positive, positive and in positive way surprised so um well i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you guys back tomorrow with the next one until then see ya and bye bye